there, this is the TW Conversations Lounge. And today we're talking about women, work, and wealth. What do these women think about all these issues and how do they tie in? But in the house today I have my regular, most of my panelists are here, but I also have a guest with me. And that guest is here because she wrote a book that kind of captures the essence of what we're talking about today, a little bit of it. Women working to be wealthy and balancing family at the same time. Ladies, welcome to The Lounge. The Lounge. <laughs> right, we'll be right back with our conversations if you don't go away. Women work wealth. When people hear work, they think wealth, making money. Is yeah. wealth really making money? Is that a good place to start, really? Well, for, wealth for me is cash. What's wealth for you? A bit of cash and a bit of um, other things that come with it. Really? As a mother, when you see your child successful, when you see your child has some manners, that's, that's wealth for me. I want my child to go out and everyone's like, wow, well-trained. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, yeah. for, for, for a fresh starter, that's something. You only have two. Two under two. Two under two. You know? For me, it's a bit different. I think that the older you get, you realize that there's such a lot to life. And so for me, wealth is being able to say that I've used all the talents that I have, mm. Mm. Um, made money with some of them, given back to society with mm. some of them, yeah. and then clearly my children are a source of my wealth because mm. in them I see the work that I've done to mm. produce a new generation. Mm. But I have to say that increasingly now, my wealth is about myself fulfilling my potential. Is this, a, is this about age? What do you think? Although you're not quite there yet, if I ask, before we come see. For me, I think um, everybody defines wealth differently. I see wealth as you see wealth. Cash, property, you know, things that I've accomplished, my dreams, yeah. you know, what I have done with it, and if I'm able to, you know, do the things I want to do, can I afford to live the kind of life I want to live? So... What kind of life do you want to live? Telepad. Uh, luxurious <laughs> life. <laughs> Lug travel life. when I want, you know. You no, know, do the things I want. I'm not really a fashion person, so it's not like a, 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 a closet full of clothes kind of thing. No. With I this like hot red. This ah, red no. I like experiences, you know. And sometimes I like to be able to know that I want that car, I can afford that car, but I'm not no. buying that car. So oh, that yes. gives me pleasure that yeah. I can afford it, but I don't have to spend it. Wow. Yes. For me, wealth for me actually is balance. Because in the end, it's the balance that makes each of us happy, balance. that makes us wealthy. Mm. So for me, what is that balance? Uh, that balance, I, I like what you former said. Uh, looking People are at thinking I like huh? grown ups <laughs> because we have grown up children. <laughs> uh, it's it no, no, no. It's an experienced thing, yes. not an age thing, yes. because we it have is. experienced yes. it. And I will speak like an accountant. Why your children are wealth? I tell people, I say, if I have to work to give my children the lifestyle they have today, I'd be running around to yes. yes. So wealth for me is the fact that while I was working. I was able to invest, and my wealth is beyond land, mm. property, money, which are all wonderful and which we strive for. But a lot of people don't understand the fact that if you can ensure that the next generation can go on without you working to your grave, yes. that is a form of wealth. Mm. So to so me, what, what's clear here is that it's a function of balancing, like you said, yes. between balance. working mm -hmm either in the house or outside somewhere, which is why I find her own experience a little interesting because in the process of trying to acquire wealth, it's either you are working in some corporate organization like you do, mm -hmm. and then, <laughs> amongst other things, because you're an author. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> amongst other things, but you, are, you, you talk about being in the executive suite. Mm -hmm. That means you are at the top management level in a corporate. Yes, I am. And you chose to write this book because of the balancing act. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, uh, thank you, um, Emma Deso, and everyone who's given fabulous feedback. So if I'll start from the definition of wealth, I think that wealth will clearly mean different things to you depending on the phase of life that you are in. Okay. Clearly there was a time when wealth for me was sitting in a room full of dollars, you know, and nothing <laughs> else, just, just money. But as you advance, it probably means um, giving back. It probably means having a simple objective fulfilled. You know, it can be just having an objective of, as you mentioned, I want to climb into the sea suit. And by the way, I'm not there yet, it's a journey. 
So, so wealth is having different objectives fulfilled at different phases of your life. I think that's how so it's not cash. I will different. No, it's, it's not, not cash, cash alone. It's not cash alone. Cash, cash, is, cash, cash is very powerful. Like I say, cash, cash is king. It, look, I mean, cash might not make you happy, but it definitely it makes on happiness. It gives you options. Uh, Money really really gives you options. options. No, but you see, she said something about sitting in a room full of dollars. You see, I've learned something about cash. While she's sitting in that room full of dollars, it has no value. Yes. She needs to, it's, it's what she exchanges what she it for right. it true. that gives it true. value. So well, the question true. I raise here though is a function of when women are, whatever wealth is, right? A woman should be able to aspire to be wealthy, whatever she defines wealth to be. Yes. Yes. Now, the question is, most times women are torn between family and work. Is that true or false? That's true. But, but you see, again, that word balance comes into play. But I think that sometimes we forget that whilst we are trying to achieve our life's potential, we're making money. So it, it, the fact that you're doing something, you can be doing it and you're making money, but that's not the reason why you're doing it. And you know, that's the best way to work. You're doing something you enjoy mm -hmm. and you're making money from mm -hmm. it. Can a woman be wealthy if she's focused on her family and not on... If her can, she, if her can she be cash wealth, wealthy? Can she move on in the company? Yes. Can she... You know, you, you, you did it, right? I, I say yes, well, I was You're in, wealthy, in right? practice. <laughs> I am indeed. And that's the point I want to make about women. It looks as if we're shy or we believe we cannot come out there and say we want to be wealthy. And for a long time, I think that's what held women back. <laughs> they felt that it was a shameful thing or they felt that it was a, a, a thing a woman should not be aspiring to. It's okay for the men to aspire to it. So yes, I have always aspired to being wealthy, basically because I honestly abhor reliance on someone else apart exactly. from God. Mm -hmm. But again, it takes mm -hmm. us back to the definition of wealth. From this perspective, wealth is about having the tools or the money to do what it is you yes, want to do, yeah, to become yeah, right. financially sure. independent. So financially independent. It's, it's yeah. very important. Yeah. I, think important. Yeah. I think it's important. I think, yeah. I think that owning property is important. I think that having money to do things is important yeah. because you, you can have property but no cash. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the question is, <laughs> where, how easy is it for a woman to acquire all of those things? Inkira has called her book The Pressure Cooker, mm -hmm. which means that trying to do that thing is it's like... A lot. It's, it's a boiler. It's a pressure yeah. port. Yes. Yes. Definitely a pressure port. I mean, you are in your 40s, you know, so maybe you're still young. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice perspective. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's the challenge. I mean, I mean, I read that book and she said something like, you know, a friend described me as ambitious and I was like, goodness, me, ambitious? Because you're vicious about wanting to get to the top. Yes. And I think that when she described me as, as ambitious, I was really startled. I thought, what, ambitious? But that's a bad word. Yes. <laughs> that, that's the point I was making. Yes. 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 So, so I think the, the first realization I had to come to is having an ambition is not bad. It's no, not. not at all. It is what you do to realize the ambition, perhaps, yes. you know, that is bad. Yes. But did I want to that be in the be UN? Bad. Yes. Did I want to be a Medellin Albright? Yes. <laughs> so, so I think is, what's the price? I'm you willing to, to pay, pay yeah. to get what there. What are you willing to do? What am I willing to yeah. sacrifice as yeah. well? Some women, to be honest, will sacrifice their family and their time to move. So we shouldn't judge them. Don't judge no. them because you, you have no idea of what their lives you know, are. Yes, what their lives are mm -hmm. and what is inner fulfillment for oh, them. Yeah. You have no understanding of what their personal, you know, innate ambitions are. What is that check mark? What is that? What is that big check mark, you know, for them? So I think that there's nothing wrong with being ambitious. It's just how do you go about it? What do you do? Um, I actually think, and I will encourage, if I had little girls, I was talking to Mrs. Idibi about having little girls. If I had little girls, there's so many have things. Voice. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's, it's now for the better, because if I did, that girl would be in trouble. Why? I'm going to open her brain and put many things inside. <laughs> many things. She, 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 she does not necessarily. Really, she does not really necessarily. Okay, you, you know what? You know what? I mean, she's going to. Okay, I must take a break. I must take a break, because there has to be a break at this point in time. You guys just hold it there. I'll take a break, and I'll be back to continue the conversations. Okay, we're back. So, Mr. Lumi, day before we went off, I was trying to ask you, so when you were climbing up, how were you able to manage your family? Because you're obviously successful at both. No, you guys are in the same corporate at one point in time. I know. Yeah. Was she a good boss? Sorry. I used to look at her like she... Because <laughs> her heels there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and she's fashion, tall. Just prim and proper. Perfectly all done, you know? So how do you get that done with two boys? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of struggle, but I think the first thing is to say that I'm very practical. I'm very extremely a bit too practical. And the sort of things I say to myself is, you need to travel. I traveled often, you know, by 
um, as a virtue of my work, I worked in an airline and you're sitting in a meeting and someone says to you, oh, the, there's a meeting in, London, a meeting in New York. York. And you know, you're thinking, hey, what am I going to do? Look, I found my mother. I found my mother-in-law. <laughs> I, I, you know, I find women who say, who say, you know, I'm not talking to my mother-in-law. I don't, don't quite like her. I'm thinking, what? Please, I like her. She has what to do. She has what to do. What to do. You know, I, I have to travel. Someone needs to help me. So it was, it was drawing from my home support unashamedly. My sister, everyone is, was drawing from that home support support and then having the right quality of, of, of nannies. I say to, to young people, why get a baby to look after a baby? There's so many things that an adult would do for you that a baby would not see. She, yeah. she can't do the temperature, you know, she can't. So you have to be able to afford that kind mm. of nanny though. But I, mean, I think it's also seasons <laughs> in your life, what okay. you're talking about, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a season where your, your children are young, you know, and, and then you need to make those arrangements. And after that season, and they're like in boarding school, you can go for it. True. Yes. You True. just go for it. True. At those seasons, no, but you, you have need... lost some years in your life. I mean, the corporate sector could exactly. affect well, women. Well, I mean, it affects you. It affects you. Okay, you're talking about the corporate sector. But okay, you know why? Their own businesses. Yes. That you know, she has her own business. Yes. They are mm -hmm. entrepreneurs that have the same challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have the same demands on their time mm -hmm. and they have to make the same arrangements. So the arrangements, regardless of whether it's the corporate sector or of you actually run the business, right. mm -hmm. you still need what you have, have those arrangements in place. So having, a, having that flexibility It can only happen if you're I'm working, working you, for yourself. You, because you I mean, I think that. it was in that book. Sorry, I keep going back there. I, I was surprised <laughs> to find that, that. Please go back there, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I was surprised to find there was a finding that showed that the highest number of entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, are in Africa. Nigeria, mm. Nigeria in particular, mm. the okay. highest number of female entrepreneurs. Mm. That shows that the corporate sector is not friendly. It's, it, it's Look at her, she left. I mean, yes, baby I came to... outside today. Oh my. Nani left. I know. Nani. Could you have taken baby to, this, to the office? No, because how would I explain that to my How would I even call my boss and say, sorry, <laughs> my nanny story. Your nanny, today. Your nanny how about your boss, I'm telling you, that's but like, that's like. offices have crushes. Some so not, do. Not, so some not, do. Some do. Some do. Some do. I noticed okay. that a lot of international organizations are more friendly to us, but smaller companies, which, which is the bulk, they don't really understand these things. Calling your boss and telling is like, excuse, demand. It's going to affect your next appraisal. Okay, for me, you raised, I mean, the, way I the corporate raised, sector, I was, I was, so I was listening to <laughs> King, and I was thinking, oh, you're lucky. You are in the same town as your mother and your mother-in-law. I raised my first, in the first eight years. I was working in England. I was working with KPMG. I traveled a lot. I was in practice. So what happened to baby? Baby was crying every morning at a stage because he didn't want his after school arrangement. Uh. So I had to think quick on my feet and I went to my boss who I knew his family well, they didn't want children. So <laughs> I went home oh, man. and said to him, um, Peter, I'm not happy because my child is not happy. So I'm coming to make an offer to work part-time and be paid part-time and do some work from home because I need to pick my child from school. And he allowed me, but after three months, guess what he said to me? He said for me, you are actually achieving full-time hours. You wow. pay your full-time Because I was true, working true, true, at true, home. True. I was true. happier. He actually was good. He sent an apple. Do you? Do you does anybody remember the day of the computer called the apple? Mm -hmm. ah, he sent an apple to the house. And once I settled baby in front of TV, I could work. So oh. isn't that what we should be pushing for these days for working? Friendly. 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 It's a choice. Because when I was working as well, I was in corporate finance. And so it was about analysis. I could take work home. I could, you know, so what I used to, I used to close at five. And then go home. When my children were in bed, eight o'clock, I go back to work at home till 2 a.m. if I needed to. So that sort of flexibility. Do you have a case I where a boss, we, yeah. younger women are abusing those kind of privileges and so people are not willing to give that kind of... So, so I'll say yes first. Yeah. I mean, if I go further to explain. And it, my point is, and I heard Anne when she was saying, um, the boss was saying, no, come back. I think that we also need to organize ourselves. I believe she was lucky to have a boss who understood. Look, the reality is, sometimes you're working in, you're not working in a multinational. Exactly. This man is running his business. Yeah. Life is fast paced. He needs you to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So it's how do you coordinate yourself? I find that the young girls tell too many stories. Yes. And to be honest, I respect your uh, stories, uh, uh, but sometimes <laughs> the stories I love. Yes. Have a you know, this, entitlement. Yes. Yes. I need to be alive. My child be. has vaccination. Yes. I have this, yeah. only you. Yes. The man has a business yeah. to run. Okay. Yes. Dad warned you at one point. My father warned me. He said because <laughs> yes. my father worked, did a 
a nine to five job. He always said to me, he'll call me from Potakot. My parents live in Potakot, by the way. He'll say, what are you, how are you vaccinating your son? I'll be like, well, I told, he says, don't tell them you're going on vaccination. Oh, Just say, it. may I please have one hour yeah. away? And yeah. it works yeah. a yeah. miracle. Yeah. 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 It works exactly. a miracle. Yeah. But I had a, bo I had a boss that was nocturnal. I felt like if it was, if it was bright outside, why are you going home? So we're supposed to get off work at five. <laughs> no, it's true. We're supposed to get off work at five. And, and with all respect, I felt like he would kind of late. He wasn't a morning person. So he would kind of like late. stall and do stuff. Then when it's like three, you know, I'm like, eh, that email. <laughs> so five o'clock is not going to happen. I used to get home at nine o'clock. And I'm asking myself, so when I get married and have children, where am I going to even start from? So did you quit the job? Yes, I did. It was easy for me to think so about. So it goes back to the former story of choices. Yes, I it's, it's about choices. How realistic would it have been for I, me? I worked in DTR in the UK. And we do um, nine hour weeks, uh, nine days. day weeks. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you have what one day where you work at home. Yeah. Yeah. They still yes. do now. Some no. even do, some do eight now. Okay. This is Nigeria. You know, okay, okay. But we should, yeah. should try. I want to make women. sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Women want to have a career. You want to have a career. Sacrifices. You want to take care of your home. There are sacrifices to be you made. Yes. That's one of the reasons why I said, I, you know, I started my business. You have to make, and there's nothing wrong in you saying, um, for if, for if, like when I started my business, I realized that I'm trying to help women make these kind of choices. They want to have a career and they also want to take care of their home. So I can't even focus on my career and leave the home and start running after another person. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew at a point in time, there was so much I could do about my business. I was running my business from home. My kids were young and I had to be there. So, so I too. had to make some sacrifices. There were events I wouldn't attend. True. There were things I couldn't yes. do. Yes. But by the time my first was 10, I just, and, and I already started bringing them up in a way that you have to be independent. independent I knew yes. that I had a plan. You know, by the time you get to this age, there's no mommy, this, uh, it just, bye. <laughs> so I knew that had to happen. So we have to learn to sacrifice and do not, you have to give yourself permission for different things. I'm not going to do this at this point. I'm not going to feel guilty if I have a domestic. I'm not going to feel guilty if my mother-in-law is the one taking care of this. Yes. Don't feel guilty. The men don't feel guilty. They've left you with the children. They are flying all over the world. Well, to be yeah, honest, why? there's a lot of pressure, maybe on young mothers I mean, she's now. young, You yeah. put yeah. the pressure, pressure on yourself. Because you know how people give breath already. The Their society, are flat, everything is okay. You see them at parties, you see them at events, and you're wondering, and yourself. How did you keep, when did you keep your yeah, child? Like, oh, that's really sorted, everything them, is their work, everything. people that you're looking at, it's just what you see. Yes. They actually are that boiling pot. Yeah. Yes. 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 Pressure. Yes. 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 Okay, ladies, which brings us to the point that we need to begin to at least converse with each other a little bit more and tell the truth. Maybe write Be books, honest. like you guys, mm -hmm. the ones that have chosen yeah. to write books have, because you said you didn't have a book, so you put your, right. your stuff in the book so that people can learn. Mm -hmm. But the, the bottom line is what, ladies? What is the bottom line? I think it's to know that you're not like everybody else and to find what Whether works for you. Whether you're male or you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're and the kind of job you do, you have to take that into consideration. You are you. And what will work for you is what will work for you. Yes. Don't compare yourself to other women and how they're managing. Because mm -hmm. you may not have a mother-in-law or a mother who can stay with you. Yes. So in which means you need to get a good nanny. If you don't have a good nanny, go, you have to find something. Yes. 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 Or not have babies. A nursery. Go, or not have babies. I really support her. I think that something has to give. And Anne made a point of you see them at parties. Look, I cut off parties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I became them. antisocial because I felt I'd been out Everybody has it together. Just these few weeks. What am I looking for in anybody's party? <laughs> I wasn't buying a shrebi. I just managed myself. I managed my husband and my house. Mm. So some things will have to mm. give. And what are you willing to let go yeah. of to be able to rise up? So let's just what should, what should we be willing to let go of? Individually, you have, you have to make that decision yes. yourself and what you want to achieve at this phase and this time in your life. Like she says, seasons, what do I want to achieve now? What needs to go? If you are out every day traveling all over the place, you need to cut off the ashwabi and the parties and stay home when you, when you, have, you don't mm -hmm. have office time, kiss your kids, yeah. know their teachers, you know, listen to them. Sometimes it's just the whole game. These kids they don't need. have fathers. Well, <laughs> well, that's a topic for okay, the topic for the other than our thoughts. But the cultural leaning is yeah. that yeah. Exactly. The responsibility yeah. of the mother. Especially when they're young. Especially when they're young. And we see things men don't see. I mean, you, I'm with my kids, right. you know, Much all longer. day, and anyway, I'll pick anyway. one or two things. And and clearly, I mean, clearly, the baby couldn't have gone with your husband to work. And that's why you take leave. Because one of the things I used to do was, if I had a challenge with the nanny, I'd take some days off. Mm. To sort it out. Yes, yes, because you see, as opposed to telling stories, oh, I have yeah. this, no, no, no okay, I'm, we, I'm taking two days we, off, we, and I take two days. Can we agree here that even when you're doing all of those things, 
a guy who's at the same level as you, if you're in the corporate sector, oh, right. yes. will go ahead yes. Yes. Oh, faster yes. than you can. Yes. That's true. A cousin of mine in the UK said she's not having mm. more kids because she are can't we, afford it, it, that her career has really suffered for it and she really yeah. can't okay, afford but, it. I know, but your career, did your career we, suffer for yes. it? Can I, can I just please put, and that's responding Final to your word. question, a different perspective. I think that there's a way that, so, so, so yes, at a first level, but no, because I think that even the times when you're away, there's a way that you can add enough from value. Work. Yes, work. Talk about value from yes. work that you yes. can add enough value, you know, enough for them to realize your contributions. Yes. Yes. So that when it then comes to those difficult conversations about promotions, yes. you get equal seating yes. as the guy. So, so it's, it's now value you, you bring. Do Wherever it is, it's do the work. Do the work. Once you have yeah. your objectives, don't make it you, you, okay. you meet your, you meet all your targets. Yeah. I, can, I, I work really quick. So I can meet my targets in three days yeah. instead of five. Yeah. I don't really need five days. Yeah. So you can't argue with me at my appraisal because yes. this is all done. done. Yeah. It's Absolutely. all done. You, you look like I can't argue with you at your appraisal. <laughs> 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 no, we call her the thug in the house. I mean, she, she, she looks the part. She's looking very girly today. But sincerely, we, we, we must go. I mean, a half hour is done. But the truth is, the message I get from listening to all of you ladies is that we make choices, and we make those choices. We have consequences. But we, my appeal would be, let's not judge anybody who's made a choice. Mm. The important thing is for the person to know, I made this choice. So mm. if tomorrow you come home and your baby Kata is coming down like this, <laughs> because you went to work, don't be upset. You know, it was a choice you made because you couldn't take care of that part. But again, the men who are the fathers of these children, whether they are our husbands, or our partners, whatever it is, they have to take some charge, mm -hmm. I think. Definitely. And corporate yeah. should understand that women will make babies mm -hmm. anyway, otherwise there'll be no wealth. But it takes you to that word wealth, you see. Men wealth. feel it's their primary responsibility to generate the wealth. And so that's the reason why they feel that you can then you have do them. all it's the other things. The right so so at the end of the day, yes. that word keeps coming into play. So who should be generating the wealth, <laughs> men or women? <laughs> Who should be generating the wealth? Oh, 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 my husband says something. He says, I yes. don't ever feel that this period that you're not particularly working corporate, that you're not bringing value, you're equally bringing, because I couldn't be here at home taking care of these kids. I couldn't do so many things that I would have So does he pay you? That's a nice husband. Yeah, he actually says, I'm grateful to have that. I, can't, I, I mean, because, and then he tries to, times that he can, I mean, sometimes you do night duty, and I'm like, thank you, Jesus. I get four hours of sleep. So yes, I'm grateful. And I think that fathers these days are trying to evolve, because I hear other young parents say, my, father says, my husband says, I want to be there for my children. I want to be this sort of father. I feel like I hear that a lot of you know, But in more, retrospect, more I think often. women like you who, see, who are home, uh, homemakers should get a salary. I have a friend. Uh, yeah, they do it in some countries in Europe. No, right? I have a friend. She's Nigerian. She followed her husband. She traveled. She just turned 50, remember? Mm -hmm. She traveled everywhere with her husband. He says, I'm going to Egypt. She packs up and she goes. I'm going here. She didn't do any work on it. Extremely brilliant engineer. He used to give her a salary. No, it, it, it's, it's necessary. necessary. It's necessary. Maybe, it's necessary. Maybe, I think it's maybe fair. Maybe a lot fair. of women yes. get salary without calling it that. Exactly. It's maybe don't it's not, it's not no, how it has to be said. You know how it has to be. I know. It's how it has to be. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, uh, yes. yes. I, moved, I moved away. I moved away to Houston with my husband. And then that's one thing I was like, I cannot no work. I can't imagine not having money at the end. I want to see that letter. I know that there's structure in my life. I can't go down by with and I'll be calling you every time. Do you understand? He's like, okay, if that's what's this. At the end of the month, just pay me this one so that we will know that. You know, and he used to. It was something that was obviously difficult because I still feel like I wasn't doing but okay. at least. The underlying factor, because she's brought us back to the wealth, mm -hmm. and I'd like us to end up on that point. Mm -hmm. Is wealth anathema to women? Should it be? No. It isn't to me, <laughs> but it isn't to me. And, and I think that money is great, it gives money, you a choice. But I also think it's not the most important thing to me because there's so many other things that I do. I can write, I can all those things give me joy. Mm -hmm. But when they make money, it makes me even happier. So money? Money for me, it removes the anxiety. For me money? money You're gives, an accountant, I shouldn't be asking you. Money, money gives you the freedom to do some good works that men would not necessarily Sweetheart, do. money? Having some money can allow me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> for no pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for kid, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Kid. So I think that having money would also help you bring value. Just also, to you. Yeah. You keep talking about value. value. Mm. It brings security as well. Yeah. Okay. I know that you know you always have a fallback plan. Something. Okay, my own is it's never too late to earn money. So me, my next, sure. I'm hitting my next billion very soon. I know. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm not too old. I can start talking to you. I know. We're doing it together. Right? 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 So thank you for watching. It's been conversations. We'll see you again next week.